Hey, this is Mr. Raiden. This is the 2024 AP Calculus AB exam. This is free response question number one, the first of the calculator questions of the 2024 exam. You can see it's got a little table of degrees Celsius and minutes. And the first thing they ask us for is approximate C prime of five. So when we're trying to find C prime of five, we're gonna use three to seven right here, and we're gonna just take the slope. So we're gonna take 69 degrees Celsius minus 85 degrees Celsius, all over seven minutes minus three minutes, and that will end up giving me, when I do this calculation in my calculator, remember I can use my calculator for this, negative four degrees Celsius per minute, and make sure we wanna have the answer as well as the units for that. So that was A, just a slope, of the degrees Celsius per minute. Then we go to B, and B is asking for a left-hand Riemann sum. And so when we're doing the integral from 0 to 12 of C of T dt using a left-hand Riemann sum, we're going to start with the left hand. So we're going to start with 100 degrees Celsius. And we're going to multiply by the delta x of 3 minutes here plus the next value, which is 85 degrees Celsius, times the difference here, which is 4 minutes plus 69 degrees Celsius times the difference right here, which is five minutes. And when I do this in my calculator, I end up getting 985 degrees Celsius times minutes. And so degrees Celsius times minutes doesn't really mean a whole lot, but that's your, your answer for the left hand Riemann sum. They ask us for 1 12th of zero to 12 of C of T dt, which means this actually has a meaning. We can interpret the meaning of this in context of the problem. We take this 985 degrees Celsius divided by 12. We didn't have to do that, but that is about 82.083 degrees Celsius. And what is this? This is the average temperature of our coffee cup. Uh, average temperature of the coffee in the cup from time equals uh, zero minutes to time equals 12 minutes. So that's the average temperature of the coffee in the cup. That was part B. Then we go to part C. Part C is gives us a new function, which is C prime of T. This is a rate. It's measured in degrees Celsius per minute. We want to find the temperature at time equals 20. Remember, this was from 12 to 20. And so we want to take an integral. We want to take an integral from 12 to 20 of this C prime of T dt, but watch out. There is the temperature of the coffee at exactly 12 minutes. So we come back. We know at 12 minutes, the coffee is 55 degrees Celsius. So 55 degrees Celsius is our initial temperature plus the displacement of the temperature from 12 to 20 of this function. We do this in our calculator and we end up getting 40 point three, two, nine, two degrees Celsius. And that's the temperature of the coffee at time equals 20. And last but not least, they give us a second derivative function here of that first derivative back in part C. And they wanna know, is the temperature of the coffee changing at a decreasing rate or an increasing rate? And we want to give a reason. So we're gonna do C prime prime of T. And we know C prime prime of T is greater than zero or it's positive for all temperatures. You can graph this out for all, sorry, for all times between 12 and time equals 20 minutes. So if you graph that out, it is positive for every single one of those, which means it is changing, it is changing at an increasing rate over that time at an increasing rate since the C prime prime of T is greater than zero. And that is your question number one on the 2024 AP exam. Check out MrRaden.com and check out all my stuff at my YouTube channel. I'll catch you on the flip side.